This is a Best in Climate episode of Earth Feels, where each week your hosts Rose and Christine read to you from some of the best climate-related blogs and articles on the web. Hello, it's Rose here for this week's episode of Best in Climate. And if you're like me, these crazy days are making you think about the world that you want to live in after the pandemic, after all this craziness dies down. And it may not be the world that we came from. What used to pass as normal, maybe not so normal anymore. Maybe it was never normal. Things are changing. The way we look at things is changing. And that can be a good thing. That can be an exciting thing. Transformation, right? Nothing is static. We've had a big shakeup. And so we get to question it all. And if we put aside the fear, we can see the opportunity for creating a world that's equitable, that's glorious. We can build with Mother Nature instead of working against her. So when I came across this article that by Jackie Day, I thought this would be a good introduction for anybody who's considering making some big changes in their diet and in the way they treat some of Mother Earth's sentient creatures. Jackie's a vegan, and she's written a book called The Vegan Way, 21 Days to a Happier, Healthier, Plant-Based Lifestyle that Will Transform Your Home, Your Diet, and You. I am not a vegan, but I am making the move to a more and more plant-based diet based on the fact that I love veggies and fruits. And this year, if you've been listening at all, you know that I converted my front lawn to a garden. So when I came across Jackie's excellent article, I thought it would be a good introduction for all of you to Jackie. So this article is called Every Bite You Take and Every Dollar You Spend Casts a Vote for the World You Wish to Live In. And interestingly enough, Jackie wrote this on November 11th of 2016, so right after our last election. Four years later, Mother Earth seems to be pushing us in the direction that we need to be going. And this essay resounds. Yep, it's true. You don't have to wait another four years to cast a vote or change the world. Every bite you take and every dollar you spend Cast a vote for the type of world you wish to live in. Consider this. The environment. Concentrated Animal Feeding Operations, C-A-F-O-S, a.k.a. Factory Farms, produce over a billion tons of waste each year. The environmental devastation from big ag, big agriculture, runs far and wide. The Chesapeake Bay is one of over 400 dead zones thanks to toxic runoff from the meat and dairy industries. Anyone want to pick up the $19 billion tab for cleanup? I didn't think so. Vote with your fork and go vegan. You can vote with your next meal, your next beverage, or your snack. The less money we give to factory farms, the better off our environment will be. It's really that simple. Consider the animals. It's obvious that you can save animals by not eating them. But did you know you can save animals by buying cruelty-free cosmetics and household cleaners too? The United States doesn't require that any cosmetics be tested on animals. And there are thousands of already approved cleaning ingredients. So there's no reason to continue subjecting animals to pain, suffering, and death. No one should have to bleed to get our laundry clean. Want them to stop? Then just cast your vote with your pocketbook and buy cruelty-free cosmetics and cleaners. The more cruelty-free products we buy, the less animals will have to needlessly suffer. 
Here's a list of cruelty-free soap detergent to get you started and a free cruelty shopping guide too. This is Rose again. I will include both of those links on our earthfeelspodcast.com page. Consider the people. One in nine people go to bed hungry every night, despite there being plenty of food in our world to eat. The problem is we give the grain to factory farm animals instead of people. And then people get heart disease, cancer, and strokes from eating the animal products. It's a crazy circle that has created the first generation of adults that will not live as long as their parents. The impoverished die because they're hungry, while Americans balloon out of control with food that kills them. We have the power to stop the cycle. Just cast your vote by buying plant-based foods. The more you buy, the more the industry will create. Instead of crappy, saturated, fat-filled, cholesterol-laden fast food in every aisle and on every corner, the industry will move towards healthier, fresher, plant-based fare for all. We can do it, and we already are. Remember, if there's no demand, the supplier will simply shift their business, create a new product, and find profits elsewhere. Just like they did with laser discs, floppy drives, and 8-track tapes that no one wants anymore. Only this time, we're saying bye-bye to products produced at the expense of animals, the environment, and our well-being. Let's get out the vote each and every day. The power is in our hands. Let's use it. So there you have it. Short and sweet from Jackie Day. Again, the name of her book is The Vegan Way. I'll include a link on our Earth Feels podcast, as well as the links to cruelty-free laundry soap and cruelty-free and a cruelty-free shopping guide. Again, you don't have to be vegan to want to change the food supply. Baby steps forward every day. Envision the world that you want to live in and take action to create it. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. That's this week's episode of Earth Feels. Special thanks to singer-songwriter Kristen Hoffman for generously allowing us to use song for the ocean. Thanks for listening. Don't forget, subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss an episode. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. Children of the earth, I'm calling out. There's a mission for you and for me. 